Now moving off of the bottom of the racetrack as they come into the trioval. Well, stay on the old line. They're trying to make something happen up top here. Stay on the old line. Jason no, Light, and around stay they go. The that line. will bring the caution out the as Joey line. Coulter goes flying into the catch fence just past the start-finish line, and that will mean John King will win uh, at Daytona. The caution came out just as the pack made it past the start-finish line. Maybe the least experienced driver we had pass in the field. Him. John, pass him. John, pass him. Slowly, gently pass him. Pass him, pass him, pass him. Pass him. Daytona, and this is how it happened as far as the caution coming out. Look back in the middle there, the 22 of Joey Coulter. A little bit of contact with the 31 of James Busher gets up into the catch fence and man does that catch fence do its job. And of course Ty Dillon slipped right through again. See Ty there in the truck with the bright neon orange just slips right through. I'm just glad Coulter's okay. That was wild looking. See the way it ripped that back of that truck apart. Well, it sure did. And the front. James Busher in the 31 got into the back of that 22. <laughs> Watch this. Well, look at that ride, will you? Is that Hornaday going underneath Joey Coulter? Hornaday underneath the 22 of Joey Coulter. Watch this from Ron Hornaday's on board. Okay, we got one ahead. I don't even, I don't right know. Under right it. underneath him. Right underneath him. Cow. Underneath. How about Todd Bodine's view? Did Ron Hornaday get in the back of James Busher and turn him sideways into the 22 yeah, of Joey Coulter? Definitely somebody turned. Watch the 31 get turned. 29's with you now, white flag. I don't know. If, I don't know if he just got in the speedy drive up there, Phil, or if maybe Ron got in the back of him. But there goes Coulter, walking away. Unbelievable! And the bow to the crowd. We have seen two amazing hits.